Certainly. Below is a detailed and accurate account of Archimedes of Syracuse, 287-2212 BCE, and his groundbreaking discoveries in buoyancy and levers, including the famous Eureka, a moment. The true story of Archimedes, buoyancy, levers, and Eureka. Archimedes was a Greek mathematician, physicist, engineer, inventor, and astronomer. Born in Syracuse, Sicily, then part of Magna Graecia in 287 BCE. He is widely regarded as one of the greatest mathematicians of antiquity, alongside figures like Euclid and Newton. The golden crown and the principle of buoyancy, the Eureka story. One of the most famous legends about Archimedes involves King Hero II of Syracuse, who suspected that a goldsmith had cheated him by mixing silver into a gold crown he had commissioned. The king asked Archimedes to determine whether the crown was pure gold without damaging it. Archimedes struggled with the problem until one day, while bathing, he noticed that the water level rose as he submerged himself. Realizing that and the displaced water was equal to the volume of his body, he had a sudden insight. A pure gold crown would displace less water than a silver gold alloy, since silver is less dense. By comparing the crown's displacement to that of pure gold, he could test its purity. Overjoyed, he reportedly ran naked through the streets shouting, Eureka! Greek, Eureka, I have found it! This led to the formulation of Archimedes' principle, which states, The upward buoyant force exerted on a body immersed in a fluid is equal to the weight of the fluid the body displaces. This principle is fundamental in utt fluid mechanics one and explains why objects float or sink. Another of Archimedes' major contributions was in the mechanics, particularly his work on levers. He famously stated, well, give me a place to stand and I shall move the earth, implying that with a long enough lever and a fulcrum, even the heaviest objects could be moved with minimal. He mathematically proved the law of the lever, showing that Two weights balance when their distances from the fulcrum are inversely proportional to their weights. This principle became foundational in engineering and physics. The Archimedes screw, a device for lifting water, still used today in irrigation. War machines, designed catapults and mirrors to defend Syracuse against Roman ships. By approximation, calculated Nyabiri Pi, with remarkable accuracy using polygons. Hydrostatics Established early theories on fluid pressure. Archimedes died in 212 BCE during the Roman siege of Syracuse. According to legend,